if you follow me on my social medias, you may have noticed that um, there was a very sad picture of my Logitech G29, my faithful old Logitech G29, which I've had for, I don't know, years. Um, I, it, it, I bought it when it was quite new, um, like they'd only not long been released, and, uh, and I've done many, many races, hundreds if not thousands of hours uh, on that steering wheel. It's a bit of a shame because overall it's in fairly good condition still. Um, but it, it's in terms of the wheel, the buttons, everything, it still looks quite new. Like, um, you know, G27s had that age look about it when they were dying. But the uh, G29 still felt okay. Unfortunately, where the wheel um, went in, I don't know how many of you have pulled apart a G29 before, um, but where the wheel goes in and down, there's a shaft. Uh, the, the plastic, it's only a little plastic coupling that actually stops the, um, that only, yeah, that stops the, well, it keeps it all in place. It's a plastic coupling that obviously the, the steering wheel shaft goes down into and, and essentially so you've got this coupling and the shaft sort of goes goes into it like that and the shaft is quite tight. Uh, no, the, the coupling, sorry, the little plastic, round plastic thing is quite, it's quite tight on the shaft like that. Um, and unfortunately, just through too much use, um, the, 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 the shaft obviously you know, as I'm moving it around and racing, um, the, 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 the plastic coupling, the, the round plastic coupling, kind of got a bit slogged out, uh, unfortunately. And, and the wheel really had, there was just a lot of movement. The shaft was just able, there was a lot of play. It was in and out, it was up and down. It was really quite sloppy. And that's, that's when you know for sure that it's time um, to replace it because it just got too, just got too loose and it wasn't as fun or enjoyable anymore. Obviously for a little while I've been discussing with you guys um, through YouTube and now over on Twitch about uh, saving up. So of course the steering with the Logitech G29 shit itself pretty much right after I just wiped my YouTube funds. I've got a little fun there, obviously I don't make a lot of money off YouTube uh, and Twitch. But the little bit that trickles in I just let it build up and then I'll buy things like you know, all the iRacing stuff throughout the year. So the actual 12 month membership of iRacing. Um, the cars, the tracks, I, I want to say probably 80% of those cars and tracks I bought throughout the year were purchased by YouTube money. I bought um, a couple of games with the DLCs for it, things like that. That comes out of YouTube money and that is great. That's amazing um, that I'm able to do that. Very, very fortunate to do so. Um, I think this microphone came out of YouTube money. So that was cool. Of course, I just wiped it down to about $2.40 um, when the steering wheel started to get a bit sloppy. So I have been saving and I've been asking and you guys have been donating, you guys have been chucking um, super chats, donations, all that sort of stuff and uh, we didn't quite get there uh, but it, more than half, more than half of my new wheel purchase was actually um, donations, super chats, uh, uh, membership money. Generally it's support from you guys, my community, that has chipped in and made this a viable option for me at the moment to purchase. So first of all, before I get too far, I do want to uh, say a massive thank you to everyone over the last probably, I don't know how long I've been doing this, I want to say four months, four or five months, um, or three or four months, somewhere there that I've been talking about the wheel. Everyone that has donated anything, whether it was 99 cents or 20, 40 bucks, whatever the case may be, thank you very much. Uh, it all went into the kitty, and luckily, the actual G29, believe it or not, is not dead it's it's bad but it's no worse than it was in the last stream um because i actually hadn't used it in the last stream i've had this damn thing for a week i've had it since last wednesday i got like tonsillitis laryngitis all that stuff and i i, I haven't been able to talk i can't make a video i can sort of show it i tried to make an unboxing video and that went tits up i don't do unboxing videos so that's fine too much coupling can wear out the shaft exactly right so on that note before everybody clicks away I'm gonna jump up I'm gonna grab this camera and I'm gonna show you what it is in the end that I purchased obviously ta-da there it is the big Thrustmaster T300 RS GT edition and I believe the difference is you get the Gran Turismo logo in the middle instead of the uh, instead of the I don't even know PlayStation logo I guess uh, and you get the triple pedals down the bottom there. So let's go down for a bit of a look. You can see all three of them down there, um, neatly tucked away onto this play seat. And uh, yeah, there it is. So we we did it, guys. We totally did it. 
Thrustmaster, if you haven't seen the Thrustmaster T300, interestingly, and I'm going to have to flick that over to PS4 now, uh, interestingly, to make it run on PC, you actually have to switch that over to the PS3, um, and obviously on PS4 you're going to do that. It's the triple barrel pedals, they're quite substantial uh, compared to the Logitech ones, they're big, but they're quite light, they're all plastic except for the pedal, and I did, it comes with a mod, if I can take you for a walk down there, I don't know how well the lighting is going to be, but I'll try and hold that steady so I can focus, and you can see as the pedal goes, this actually goes flat like a, like a clutch, and honestly it didn't have a lot more resistance than the clutch or the throttle, so they include a little mod that you can screw in, and I hope that you guys can see that all right. So when the pedal comes down, it actually pushes against that rubber bung, and it feels like you've got a hard point in the pedal. It's not the greatest thing ever. They're not the most perfect pedals. Uh, obviously, Fanatec is gonna be better. Bring the microphone back over here, but it is what it is. Um, that is the steering wheel. It feels pretty good. It feels very smooth compared to the, uh, the Logitech. I've done almost no racing on it whatsoever. Um, in terms of the buttons, you've got a few. It's a shame to, to lose the red um, little turn dial that you had on the Logitech there because you could really crank up the, um, crank up. Yeah, I, I used to always set that to brake by so you can quickly wind it up and then as you run out of fuel, you can wind it back a little bit or the opposite, whichever way you want to do it. Um, but you've got a D-pad, L2, R2, um, and you've got the share button here and your start button over the other side of the PlayStation button. And down, sort of hidden, and hopefully you can see those two buttons just there. Bang, bang, L3, R3. And that is it. It's a fairly substantial unit. It's a lot heavier than um, the Logitech by comparison. You can sort of see that the bases are not too different, but this is so much lighter. It is substantially lighter. I need to go back a little bit. Um, this is substantially lighter even though it's not that much smaller um, than the Thrustmaster. So yeah, there is that. And um, the steering wheel pokes out a bit further, obviously. You can kind of quick release that steering wheel, take it off. Actual wheel size, bang to bang, is very, very similar. They're almost the same size, you would say. Um, the, the Logitech probably feels a little nicer. This is a bit more of an artificial plasticky feel. Whereas the Logitech, it is fake leather, it's only vinyl, but it still feels quite nice to hang on to. Uh, and you lose the plus and minus button as well, which was a pretty cool addition, I thought, to the to the Logitech. So, anyway, that's the poor old G29. And I'm not going to be able to demonstrate how bad it is, because I'm operating a camera with one, with one hand. A big issue is trying to get the ergonomics right on this play seat. Um, I'm not happy. I wasn't happy with the G29, and this is worse. The obviously I don't have the longest legs in the world. I'm only I'm about five foot nine, five foot nine and a half somewhere. So not the tallest guy ever. The pedals are sort of really high compared to the Logitech ones, uh, and the gap. Yeah, I've sort of had to push the play seat um, steering wheel holder like really far back. So you're kind of almost burying your ankle on on that part there as you're using the brake and. I, I can't get the height of the steering wheel um, high enough because the only way you can do it on the play seat, if I get under here and undo that screw and slide the whole thing this way, but of course that, that lifts the height of the steering wheel up. The problem is it then pushes it hard into your face and you're all squished up. So I, I'll go back for a bit of a panning shot and see if you can get a sort of a better feel Come back even further. Even fur Sorry, I'm just doing this on the fly here. Um, but it, it is super, super cramped up. I'm too high, too close to the wheel. Um, and it's not pleasant at the moment. I'm not particularly happy with it. So that's the play seat, not the steering wheel. But the steering wheel's added bulk. Has just made things a little bit worse, I think. Look how cramped I am when I have to do this. But if I, if I push the steering wheel any further down, it... it it hits my knees, so that's one thing. And if I push it any further back, um, I can't, I cannot reach the brake pedal because my ankle's hard up against the pole. I cannot get it right. I don't know what to do. Maybe change the size of your legs. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. That's the first intelligent idea I've heard. Pull this whole foam seat out here that I normally sit on, and then just. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, so... See, okay, can confirm, steering wheel height is back to a good height. Pedals are a right length, they're, they're a little bit high, I'm a bit like I'm in a Formula 1 car. Wish the seat could recline a bit as well. Um, but, that might be the go, it's not the most comfortable thing I've ever sat on. So I'm pretty much just sitting on like the belts that hold me in. But, <laughs> let's give that a go, I guess. Just yeet the whole thing out the window. <laughs> He's a controller, pretty much, AP. That's where I'm at.